in this video, we will go over how to create Google Classroom. Google Classroom is one of those amazing apps that is created to make your life so much easier as an educator. We highly recommend it as an ed tech team and we have a series of videos to really maximize your use in Google Classroom. So take a look at this first video and then check out our Google Classroom playlist. An easy way to access Google Classroom is by opening up the Cube app drawer on the right and clicking on the icon. It will bring up the classroom homepage where any classes that you're part of will live. And you can click on the big plus sign on the top right and choose create class. It will prompt you to give your class a title. You can add some other information. The only thing that's required is the class title, but we highly recommend that you also add the dates because if you teach the same grade level or subjects year to year, you could end up with multiple classes that are titled the exact same thing. Once you've created your class, it will open it up for you and it'll look something like this. In your class, you'll find the title on the top left and across the middle, it'll say stream, classwork, and people. Over on the right, under about, it will say select theme, and you can change the theme of your classroom. One of the cool things about Google is that it will select a theme for you based on the title of your class. And so depending on the subject that you chose, it will choose a theme that fits that. But you can go in and pick one that fits your classroom. We'll choose this guy and save it. And so it'll change the color scheme to fit the picture. In that about section, it has the basic details for your class, including the class code, which you can click on and make full screen because this is the easiest way for students to join your class. They will open up classroom the same way that you did and click on that plus sign, only they will choose join class and it will prompt them to type in a class code. That's where they'll type in that code that's specific for your classroom and they will be a part of the class. You can access that class code also in the class settings right here. You can add a class description in the class details in the settings and subject. Google has a list that you can choose from or you can type in your own. Here's the class code that you can get to. And there's also the settings for allowing students to post and comment in your class or changing that so that only the teacher can post and comment. We recommend that if you do allow students to post and comment that you pre-teach the expectations for the things that they should be commenting and posting. So you can save those settings and go back to your classroom. Up on the left side, it will give you access to all of your classes and Google Classroom also puts together a nice to-do list for you. Once you've posted assignments to your class, it will organize them for you in to be reviewed and ones that you have already reviewed. You can click back and go back to your homepage and see all of your classes. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel right here and check out the next video in our playlist.